good afternoon guys today I am gonna build some shelves in my shed should be a quick video the snow is melting slowly but surely I just got back from the hardware store I had to buy some screws and here are the chickens what's up chickadees you see that <laughs> yep I got them trained no actually they're they're very friendly so they they think I'm gonna give them a snack uh, and notice when I clear that area a few days ago there was still some ice under it but now we can see the ground and they can scratch everywhere well, not everywhere, but a good chunk of that area. All of this snow here, it's gonna melt, and so will that, hopefully within maybe a week or two at the most. Yeah, good things are coming, guys. Guys, I'm hanging out with my crew here. They like to pick up the shovel. All right, so this is what I have, guys. I'm building shelves for my chainsaws, my three chainsaws. So I bought this, these boards at the local hardware store and I cut them to about 36 and a half inches long. I have my horses and my tools and hearing protection. Hearing protection, I can't tell you how important that is. And the reason is because I went to an audiogram test last week and I was told that I'm losing my hearing, which is correct. I'm losing my hearing at high frequencies. Loud noises do bother the heck out of me. And my wife, has, she has been telling me for a long time that I'm hard of hearing. So I, I thought she was joking, but I asked the doctor and uh, I, I said this to her doctor. Um, my wife has been complaining that I'm, I'm hard of hearing. I think she's joking. I don't know if she really means it or or what. What do you think? Am I, am I losing my hearing? And she said, yes. They did a whole bunch of tests on me um hearing test a test that i've never even seen before some were uh, similar to what i've been through in the military yeah they found out that i'm hard of hearing <laughs> so yeah it is what it is what can i do about it too late now uh i guess you know uh 28 plus years in the military can do a, a job on you you know lots of weapons firing and working on flight lines and things like that they can definitely make you lose some of your hearing. I'm not completely deaf, obviously. Uh, I can hear. I, I think I can hear fine. But uh, yeah, it was confirmed last week. Uh, okay. So I cut these to 36 and a half inches long. And I bought these brackets uh, last week. And I bought six of them. And you're probably saying or wondering, why am I building three shells for three chainsaws when i only have two wrong i have three i bought one more than a year ago and it's still in the box in my garage i never unboxed it i thought i would need the bigger one which is what that is it's a bigger husqvarna more powerful but i never unboxed it so it's been like what 13 months since i bought that thing but anyway once i do unbox it next week or the week after I'll have the space to put my chainsaws, all three of them, in there. And I'll be building more shelves and organizing this a little bit better. I have a ton of space. Now, earlier today, I put this piece of wood here between uh, the two by fours. So I can use it as storage for 
my wood and you know garden stuff like like this right here it works pretty well and i did this last week but i'm gonna have to take it out and put it someplace else because now the shells are gonna go in here all right so what am i gonna do i've already put the brackets for these two shells then i need to secure them from underneath but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna uh put the brackets these two brackets here for the third shell so again i have my two brackets i have one and a quarter inch screws for the brackets i'm gonna put three here i already have three there and i have two levels i have a large one and you'll see why in a minute and i have a very small one and i want the shells about 12 and a quarter inches apart or so and i already made my mark up here and that's where i'm going to put the first bracket i mean it doesn't have to be exact but close enough right so what i'm trying to do guys i need to level this bracket i need to make sure that it is perfectly level or as close as i can, as I can possibly get it and right about there so now well let me see yeah right about there so now i'm gonna go ahead one hand it somehow and put the first screw in let's see how this goes one hand it yeah, i could probably do it i think i'm gonna start from the bottom okay now for the second screw make sure it is level again yep there we go and now for the final screw now here comes the tricky part how do i install this bracket and make sure that it's level with the other one that's easy. This is the way I do it, all right, guys? So I get a piece of wood that's very straight. You can, you can get any kind of straight edge. It could be metal, it could be wood, it could be plastic, as long as it's just straight, okay? You're gonna put it on top of both brackets, and then you're gonna use your big level, put it in the front, and then you're gonna raise or lower this bracket until the until the level shows that it's good to go. All right, like right now, it's perfectly level. So, I'm gonna make sure this bracket is centered. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the, this first screw by hand. I'm gonna come in with my tool, my impact driver, and drive it in. All right. Perfect. I don't need this anymore. I don't need that anymore. And here's my shelf. Oh, I don't need this anymore. Okay. Here's my shelf. I'm going to put it in place. And now I have to drive three screws underneath. And guys, I have to mention this, okay? make sure you get the right length screw now earlier today i have this seven eighths inch of screw right here and i tried to drive it through the wood but a little bit the tip of this screw what came out came out of the wood on top here so in my case i had to go out to the store and get a three quarter inch screw okay so again uh, uh oh so what you can do is measure your wood and this wood happens to be three quarter inches thick so you don't want to use a screw that's longer than three quarter inches in my case so you don't want to yeah obviously you don't want to use a screw that's longer than the thickness of your wood okay and that's why 
I have to go get a whole bunch of these. And now I'm gonna put one here, one there, and screw one there, and it'll be sturdy like this one. Good enough for the chainsaws. guys my first custom set of shelves on this shed at my new homestead so let's grab the chainsaws the smaller chainsaw is gonna go on top there we go and my still is gonna go in the middle and my Husqvarna is gonna go on the bottom whenever I unbox that one so oh yeah now they have their own space check it out doesn't that look good i think it does and eventually i want to build more shelves not over there but probably probably along that wall there yeah i need to get better organized there maybe something above on these rafters up here yeah or maybe even, yeah, I can probably build more shelves right there, right below the chainsaws. And maybe one more right above it too. So guys, the whole thing took maybe an hour. This thing is very convenient. And look, I even put some of the fuel here next to the chainsaws. And why didn't I go all the way to this end? Well, I have uh, this going on here and I figured that size, 36 inches, would be perfect for what I needed. So that frees up half of this table for me to do other things. Maybe chainsaw maintenance and cleanings. So uh, yeah, I want to have this area free at all times so I can do work there. So guys, if any of you have ever built shelves before, put in the comments below what kind of shelves you built, what kind of tools you used, and materials, so we can all learn as well. Again, this is inside a shed. I'm the only one that comes here, and yeah, it doesn't have to be very fancy or very expensive. I mean, I could have spent a lot more money on these shelving units, but I just chose the basics to hold my chainsaws, and I think it looks pretty, pretty good. I'm happy with them. And that's what matters the most. And with that, guys, you have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.